Okay guys, let's get our motivation on and get started. I want to get my housework done so I can enjoy the rest of my day off. So I've mentioned in videos before that I have a passionate penny pincher planner and she has a morning routine and an afternoon routine and something to do um, each day and each week. So in the morning routine, I usually start my routine in the bathroom. So it just seems like the right place to start today. And I just noticed my shower could use a good cleaning with that Dawn and Vinegar spray. It really works. It's just time to do it again. The next thing I usually do is make my bed. I usually wash my sheets twice a week. That's just my routine. Um, twice a week because I have the dogs. Otherwise I would just do it once. But um, today I decided to go ahead and change the sheets and get everything nice and fresh. And who doesn't love going to bed in nice clean sheets? So I never realized how much routines, having a routine would help in keeping the house clean. And it just seems like my work is so much less. Like I do one thing a day. On Wednesdays I clean the bathrooms. On Thursdays I change all the sheets. On Fridays I do all my dusting. So it's just a little bit every day so it's not overwhelming. So on the weekend I don't spend the whole day cleaning. It really is so helpful. Next is laundry. I usually do a load a day, but I've gotten a little bit behind, so I probably have about three loads to do today. And I said in my last video, in my last declutter video, that I was gonna start decluttering again in my pantry, start over in the pantry, but it looks like I should start in the laundry room. It looks a little bit cluttered and disorganized. Let's see what I decide to do. The living room's not too bad. My my dog likes to bring her bowl and my other dog's bowl into the living room just to let me know when she's hungry. So they were in there, but other than that, the living room is pretty clean and it cleans up pretty quickly. And next is the kitchen. My son had made himself, well, he made us breakfast um, while I was at the grocery store. So you'll see in a minute, I have a whole counter full of groceries to put away. And my son's not the best at cleaning up after himself, but I do appreciate that he made a good breakfast for me. Oh, look at that closet back there. It looks like another decluttering project. That's my son's tools. So he'll have to help me with that one. So that white thing that's back there on the countertop is my air purifier and I just absolutely love it. And but it's it's an eyesore and I'm not quite sure where to put it. It's the perfect spot for it there because it's like in the middle of the whole open area and it really does work. I mean, it, the house always smells so fresh and clean, but it's ugly. I'm not sure where to put it. If you have an air purifier, where do you keep yours? Here's the groceries that I got. 
It's the groceries for the week. So I'm not quite sure what to do about my cabinets. They're, the wood is so dark that it seems to show everything light. And of course, and they, I love to bake, so I mean, I wipe them down, but everything still kind of shows. They always look dirty. I've tried Pledge and End Dust and Murphy's Oil Soap, but they always just look kind of not right. So if anybody has an advi any advice, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave it in the comments. And I sure, sure will try it, and I'll probably film it. I'm not quite sure why I started with the pan. I guess it was just because it was there on the top in the sink and that's where my son had made breakfast and it was kind of gunky. So I just wanted to get it out of the way, I guess. So who else is a messy dishwasher? Oh my gosh, looks like I practically took a bath in the dishwater. And it's always fun to set out a new set of Mrs. Meyer's cleaning products. This scent is the Compassion Flower. I bought it last year and I didn't really like it at first. It kind of smelled like old lady perfume. Um, but it kind of grew on me, maybe because I'm an old lady, but it grew on me and I really love it. So this year when it came out, I think I brought three sets of it, including the air freshener. <laughs> I follow the Minimal Mom here on YouTube. I watch all of her videos. I just love her. But that cake that's there on the counter, it's a chocolate Oreo bun cake. It's from her cookbook, and it is so amazing. I've made it a few times, and I get so many compliments. She also has a, a white chocolate raspberry. Amazing. Go check her out. Go check out. I'll link her channel um, in my description box, so you can go check her out, and um, maybe you'll support her bun cake cookbook especially since all the proceeds go to benefit a woman and children shelter in Mexico. I think the first thing that they did was help to get them running water and now they're trying to get them solar panels so they can have electricity. It really is a worthy cause and an excellent book. And with that mop in my hand, that means I'm done with my housework and I can enjoy my weekend. <laughs>